Hi students. Today our session is sense organs. We all are know sense organs. How many sense organs we have? We have five sense organs: eyes, nose, ears, tongue, and skin. These sense organs are give stimuli to the, our brain, and the brain replies to that action. This process is carried out. Through the sense organs, the brain is a center for all the sensitive activities. It receives the information through the sensory nerves that brings the nerve signals from the sense organs, and after interpretation, send off signals through the another type of nerves called motor nerves. Means nothing but what through this motor nerve, the stimulus are passes through the brain. so that uh, when the information reaches to the brain the reply from the brain is carried out to that particular sense organs see example if a mosquito biting you how you know you know the pain your leg you are the response what you respond you immediately beat the leg that is the response sent from our brain this is the stimulation to sensation the stimuli reaches the brain the reply from the brain is performed by the action for example butterfly uh, sit on a flower you try to catch that what happen it will fly up how it knows it will be sensed from the surroundings it will escape from you these are the information carried from the surroundings the main purpose of this sense organ is to food to survive these are the main purpose of the sense organs to protect ourselves these are the main purposes If you touch the hot coffee, what will happen? Immediately remove your hand. If anyone beating you, you are immediately react to others. This is all because of the sense sense organs. The most important sense organ is eye. Today I will try to explain the structure of the eye. Structure of eye. eye is the one of the sense organ if you see any image it will detect it to our brain and reply from this brain that particular object is particular color for example you saw a leaf it is green in color how you know if you saw that leaf that image passes to the brain and the brain send the reply that is a green color leafy structure then you identify the that is the leaf this is the external eye external eye has mainly three parts eyelid this is eyelid these are the eyelashes this is the eyebrow eyelid eyelashes and eyebrow this is the external part of the eye only one sixth part of this eye is we are able to see the eye is fixed in the eye socket of the brain eye fixed in a eye socket only one sixth part of the ball this is the only one sixth part of the ball we are able to see the remaining all is fixed in our eye socket structure of the eye our eye contains eyelids eyelashes and eyeball eyebrows we all are noticing the external parts of the eye 
I has three main layers. See here, three main layers. This is the outer layer, inner layer, and inner layer. How many layers we have? Three layers. What are they? Sclera, keratin, and retina. The outermost layer is. This is the outermost layer. This is very thick, and. This is very thick, tough, and fibrous, non-elastic. White in color. This outermost layer is white in color. It is very thick and tough and non-elastic layer. This below the outer layer, another layer is present that is black in color. That is called keratoid layer. Why it is black in color? Why? Because a plenty of blood vessels are present in this layer. That's why it is look like a black color. It has blood vessels. It encloses the eye except the part of the pupil. See, see here a bunch of blood vessels are present except the pupil. Okay. The pupil is not enclosed by these. Cells. These uh, these keratoid cells are nothing but what iris. What is this one? Iris. The radial and circular muscles are present in this iris. Beside the pupil, we have biconvex lens. Here, the iris are adjusted. When it is dated, it is reaches to towards the pupil. And less amount of light is passes through the inside the eye. When it is dark night, dark time, day, night time, it will expand. These two iris are expanded, and more light is passes inside the eye to detect the object. This is adjusted. This iris is adjusted based on their light. If high intensity light, it will come closer to this pupil, and the low intensity light, it will be expanded like this. A biconvex lens is present immediately behind the pupil. It is attached to the ciliary muscles and suspensory ligaments. The lens divides the inner eyeball. See, this is the inner eyeball. The lens divides the inner eyeball as aqueous chamber and vitreous chamber. Aqueous chamber contains water. Why? Because Aqueous chamber contains water, and vitreous chamber contains a jelly-like fluid. This is about the second layer, keratoid layer. Second layer is black in color because of this. So many blood vessels present in this. It encloses the eye except the pupil. Why? Because the pupil. Through this pupil, the light intensity of light enter inside the eye. The, around this pupil, we have iris. Based on the intensity of light, this iris is expand and uh, close to each other. Not each other, come close to the pupil. Beside the pupil, we have biconvex lens. It has two chambers: aqueous chamber and Vitreous chamber. Vitreous chamber is jelly-like structure, structure, and aqueous chamber is water. Contains water. Beside this keratoid layer, there is a retina. Retina contains cells called rods and cones. Like this, we have. This is the rod cells. These are the cone cells. These are attached like this near to each other. Rods and cones. The area of here we have no vision spot. Both eyes have no vision spot. Right eye have no vision spot. That image is corrected by left eye. Left eye has no vision spot. That image is covered by right eye. That is called what? Blind spot. Blind spot is present here. The area of no vision part is called what? Blind spot. Then the area of best vision also present in that. That is called yellow spot. Present in the retina. Here yellow spot is present. Here blind spot is 
present. In that blind spot, the image is not detected. That is corrected by the another eye. In another eye is corrected by the this eye. Okay. This is the blind spot and yellow spot. Yellow spot is a best vision part. Blind spot is a no vision part. The yellow spot is also called macula or fovea. The yellow spot is also called what? Fovea. This is the fovea. Okay. This is all about the structure of the eye. In another session, I will tell about the functions of the eye. Are you clear students? The structure of the eye has three layers. Outermost layer is called sclera. This is a white gelatinous non-elastic structure. Inner layer is called keroid layer. It is black in color because of the so many blood vessels are present in this. These are the number of blood vessels comes closer together to form an iris. This iris is not enclosed this pupil. The pupil is a light intensity a the intensity of light passes inside the eye through this pupil. Beside the pupil we have lens. The iris is existing in nature. Okay. These all are finally connected to the optical nerve. In this retina, yellow spot and blind spot is present. Yellow spot is a best vision part. This is also called phobia. And blind spot is a no vision part. It contains rods and Cones. This is the structure of the eye. If you understood, please give a big thumbs up, hit the bell icon and subscribe my channel, share my video. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.